Anyway, I'll just have to uh, get by with what's in the Thompson. And uh, I've got a little bit left in the uh, MP40 if I have to switch out to it in a, in a sticky situation. So, yeah, I guess I'll just do the same again and uh, fall back to the teleporter if I need to. And uh, the zombies are definitely getting uh, quicker and <laughs> there's a lot of them coming now, so... What a lot of these custom maps tend to do is when they're tweaking the difficulty settings they uh, increase the speed and number of zombies as a way of controlling that. Uh, but what a lot of the maps fall down on is that they'll have a lot of choke points or uh, long lines of sight where it's not really that hard. Or well, they have a lot of really open areas where you can train zombies in. But as you can see, so far in this map, in, uh, in Project X, it's not like that at all. And that's what makes it, I guess, uh, a little bit more challenging. And, uh, we're, we're having a resort to this uh, camping strategy here in the teleporters. The time being, uh, there's a max ammo up there. I'll grab that. Beautiful. Is there a better drop than max ammo? I don't think so. Let's try and make a crawler. There we go. A nice slow one. And we'll just uh, polish off the last couple of zombies here. I haven't built up a great deal of points in this round, but never mind. We've got enough to open up another area, I guess. Well, that door was 1500, wasn't it? So we're good for that one and maybe another one for the same, same amount of points if we find one. I don't want to waste my money on double tap at this point. I'd rather get Jug when I find it. So uh, let's open this door and see what's in this room here. Okay. Ah, yes, the laptop. Beautiful. Objective completed. Sweet. Okay, so our second objective is to find the key and gain access to the garage. Excellent. So it seems to be a fairly linear style of uh, of progression in this map, if you know what I mean. Like, uh, there's only re really one way to open up, and then the next way is, is basically just one choice, and that's pretty cool up there. Let's have a look through here. Can't really see anything. Oh, it's only 750. Bargain! What else have we got? I need a key card for that. And, oh, jug. Yes. Beautiful. Unfortunately, I don't quite have enough points for that, but uh, I might be able to get enough points. I've got a few crawlers there, and uh, there's another teleporter here. I have to link that one, apparently. And uh, this down here. That's what I need the key for. That must be the garage. And another 2,000 points. Okay, we've got a few options actually in this area. So let's link the mainframe. Damn. Just got uh, a few too many crawlers there. <laughs> let's take out a few and hopefully we'll get enough for Jug uh, with these uh, knife kills and uh, might board up some windows if necessary. Alright, we'll leave that one. And a Exactly got enough for Jug. That's awesome. Okay, is the FG on the wall? Uh, the FG's alright, but it's got a bit too much recoil for my taste. Um, alright, let's link that. And not sure where it actually goes, so we should uh, try it out. See where it takes us. Uh, pack a punch. Well, I definitely don't have enough points for that. All right, it's up top here. Nice. I guess this is on like a timer thing. We got grenades up here. Why on earth would you have grenades in this area? I don't know. Like, anyway. I guess if we run out of grenades trying to make a crawler, we can come back and get them. Alright, so uh, I guess we should head into the next round. I'll just get a couple of points here. 
I don't know how much difference the extra 60 points will make, but every little bit helps. All right, let's go. Round nine. So, uh, yeah, same, same, I guess. Back here in the in the same spot. We'll, uh, we'll use this teleporter. I guess I could try using the other teleporters. Or like th that other teleporter that we found that led up to the area with the uh, laptop. That that might be doable, but best to stick with what we know. I'm not going to try and knife these dudes, it's just too risky when there's so many coming in here. Alrighty. Let's go with the Thompson. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Doris, this map, in that you use the teleporters. Uh, like that and the Thompson as well because I use the Thompson quite a bit in Doris pack a punch Doris is probably my all-time favorite map really in the uh, in the uh, original zombies or whatever you want to call them the uh, non custom ones all right so I think I've just got uh, that crawler left, and uh, let's take a look around. Oh no, we've got a runner or a walker. Deal with him and his high visibility jacket. I think uh, Yodi's lair had the same uh, high visibility outfit on some of the zombies from memory. I think that's all of them. So, uh, alright. So I'm just going to build up a few extra points. Because you see how expensive everything is in this map? It's just crazy expensive opening all these doors. And this map is just huge. So, I'm going to get uh, a few few points off these uh, windows. It's a little bit boring to watch. But uh, you got to do what you got to do. Alright, so um, let's open up this top area because it's the cheapest. You know, I'm a tight ass. Uh, okay, nothing really interesting. Oh, what's this? Can't even see anything on the wall. Oh, oh it's the MG. Beautiful. That is beast. Man, this is the first map I've played where you can buy that off the wall. I've seen the PPSH on the wall, but uh, the MG, that is gold. And we've got uh, some more jukeboxes and stuff. All right, well, pretty much spent all my, all my points on that MG. And I've got the Thompson. So we should be pretty good to go for, uh, for round 10. So we've still got uh, that next area to open up. And then we need to find uh, a key card and a key to open up those other those other barriers. Let's try and get headshots if I can. Build up as many points as possible. Ooh. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my dear lord! How did I survive that? Oh! Oh man, that was close. I thought I was gone for sure. I have to be more careful <laughs> when I'm reloading. Actually, double tap probably would be pretty good to have, but what I would prefer uh, is speed cola, actually. But we haven't found that yet. Taking no chances. Let's get back up top. And we've got a nuke. Alright, oh. Damn. I might as well get that then. So I have to do another round. That's alright, we'll just build up some more points. And uh, then we'll be good to go for uh, exploring the map at the end of this round.
That was one of the really cool things in World of War is that uh, fire effect that they introduced. Or that they, uh, I don't know. It was like a feature of World at War, if you remember the campaign, like the, uh, the flamethrower tank and stuff like that. And uh, they, had a, they had a fair few maps where they were burning objects in them. And it was uh, pretty cool. And you can see that they've done that in this map, the burning train carriages and stuff like that. Okay. It's all right when they're in like uh, groups, but when they're when they're all all coming at once, it's, uh, it's a little bit problematic at times. Okay, we're near the end of the round here. I'm gonna try and make a crawler if I can, and a max ammo. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, bring it, motherfuckers. Let's get them as they come through that window. Hopefully. Oh come on. Why you no lose your legs? Ah, <sighs> hopefully I don't have to run this dude round because that'd be super annoying. Oh, great! Hate that. Now if I try and um, grenade him, he's gonna die on me. Oh, let's open this up. Uh, looks like a waiting room or something. I'll just keep going. Or whatever. Hmm. Oh, yeah! PPSH on the wall. So many of these custom maps uh, have the PPSH on the wall. It's pretty epic. I mean, it's obviously overpowered and uh, all that, but, you know, it's the PPSH. Come on. Probably one of my all-time favorite zombie weapons. 